Hello, this is Darren Snusky, Professor of Graphic and Multimedia Design here at the Meek School of Journalism and New Media. Today we're going to talk about Master Pages. And so this is a magazine that I'm working on. And Master Pages allow you to set up a different uh, types of grids um, for different types of content. And so if you look over here in the Pages panel, I have an A master, um, I have a B master, that's a quarter page ad, uh, a C master, which is a third page horizontal ad, and a third page vertical ad. So if we come down to our pages right here, we can see this little A in the corner, and that means that that A master is being applied to this page. And we can see this B in this corner, and we can see that this B master is being applied to this page. Now you can just change uh, your master pages by dragging the appropriately uh, appropriate uh, right side C master onto this and you can see now this is set up as a third page horizontal ad or I can pull this down again and I can have third page vertical ads or I can go back to A master and this is set up for editorial content. So we've got our 12 column grid uh, that our different columns of type can adhere to. So I'm just going to bring that back down to a quarter page ad. And let's open up a new file, new document. So let's go through this. Um, print, we want facing pages. We do want facing pages, so leave that on. Uh, you're going to have five pages, one for the cover and four, two for the opening spread and two for the jump spread. It's going to be letter size and the orientation is going to be portrait. So let's click OK. And so whenever you're in this interface, right now I'm on page one because we can see that this is blue. Um, what I want to do is I want to create a master page um, up here for editorial content and so let's go through that process so right now I'm gonna double click on a master right here and the first thing I'm gonna do is I need to set up my margins and columns now right now the margins are set up to a half an inch or a three pica uh, space all the way around but I want to change that I want to go up to layout margins and columns and um, right now uh, we want to talk about the inside margin. The inside margin differs depending on whether your magazine is saddle stitched or perfect bound. Saddle stitched uh, means stapled so if you think of stitch think of staple. Perfect bound means glued uh, so a stapled magazine is like People magazine so um, it kind of lays flat on a table. A perfect bound or glued magazine kind of uh, creates a hump on the pages so it does not lay flat. It almost looks like, if you look at it from the side, it looks like a, uh, a seagull uh, flying. So when it doesn't lay flat, the inside margin needs to be bigger. Um, and so I'm going to change the inside margin to uh, four picas. I was about to change it, but I noticed right here that this is linked and if I change that to four picas it's going to change all the way around and so let's break that link and I want the inside to be four. Now uh, when talking about uh, magazines you have to create room at the bottom for a folio. A folio is the page number and maybe the name of the magazine, maybe the month, maybe the magazine's website. So I'm going to go down to bottom and I'm going to change the bottom to four six which gives me more space down here and over here the other thing that I did forget was in the center let's go back to layout margins and columns um, I want to have a 12 column grid with a white one pica gutter so I'm just going to change this to 12 click OK and now I have my grid set up and this grid is for you to adhere content to uh, notice that nothing happened on this side because if you look over at master pages the side is not blue so I didn't apply anything to this so I'm gonna click on this side now now this side selected I'm gonna do the same thing layout margins and columns uh, the inside was four and the bottom was four 
4P6, and we had 12 columns. Click OK. Now, the other thing we're going to <coughs> excuse me, uh, uh, put on the page is a folio. So let's, uh, let's do that right now. So folios are fairly small. A folio, if you're thinking about informational hierarchy, is probably one of the least important things on the page, so you don't want to make it very big. So I'm just going to bring, drag out a text box down here. And you always want the page number on the outside. And so it would be really hard for a designer to pay, uh, go to every page and change the number from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to create a special character here that will count it for us. So let's come up here to type, insert special character, markers, current page number. And there's the A that will be a page number when we go to one of these pages. It says A because we're in the A master. If we were in a B master this would say B and so on and so forth. So let's zoom in here. And so there's A. Uh, we'll use a little pipe character. And then name of the magazine. Space. And we can change this. Uh, right now it's set to 12 point, which is really big. So I'm going to change this down, bring it down to like 8 point. And I'm going to make this sans serif. And hierarchy wise, the page number is probably the most important thing. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to make it say extra black. And I usually tend to line it up with this outside margin right here. And I'm going to come up here and fit frame to content so it sucks up nice and tight. And now the next thing is I'm going to bring that page number and bring it over to the other side. So I'm going to Option, Shift, Option duplicates it and shift constrains it to a 90 degree angle or 180 degree angle or a 45 degree angle so it's going to be lined up I know it's going to be lined up perfectly and we come down here now it's there well, it's not lined up to this margin uh, so that's easily uh, fixed we can come up here and go align to margin and then align right edges and there we go. But let's see, it's still not kicking over to this side, so I'm going to highlight this and come up here and align the type to the right as well. Now the other thing that's wrong is everything's reversed. We want it to be um, number on the outside, then name of the magazine in the center, and then month and year on the inside. So I can just cut that, paste it here, cut that, paste it here. Now it's right. So did this really work? Let's see. Let's zoom out. So this is our master. We did this all on our master because it's blue. And now let's go to page one. There's one. Page two. Page three. Page four, page five. So this one um, for this project is your cover, so it doesn't need a folio. So what you can do is you can select this none master page and apply it to one, and that gets rid of everything. And right now this grid is um, set for a left-hand side page, or I'm sorry, right side page. But there's no need to have a weird extra space over here because this is the cover. So what we can do is we can come into our master and go margins and columns, 
I'm just going to make it three all the way around. It doesn't need any columns. So there it is. Master pages. So there's that, and there's that. Here's our master. Here's how it's applied. Here's the other master. Here's how it's applied. Master pages.